One program at the top of the league to another. You usually always see Marist and Quinnipiac near the top of the standings, and now we've got the Bobcats with us here in Atlantic City. Head coach Trish Fabry and guard Jackie Grisdell. Guys, welcome to the ocean. Thanks for some time. Hey, happy to be here on this beautiful day. Coach, you are trying to uh, integrate a lot of new pieces. By my count, eight new faces. How is the chemistry coming together in the preseason? Yeah, it's been, it's been a great summer into a really good fall. Um, and... We have, for me, it's been re-energizing, rejuvenating, back to building blocks. But the chemistry and the culture has been a staple and passed down from one year to the next. A lot has to do with the young lady who's sitting to my left. Yeah, we're going to talk to Jackie in a second. But you talk about sustaining that culture. That's the hallmark of good teams, right? Not just teams that win once, but the teams yes. that can be considered a winning program. How have you gone about instilling that in Hampton? Yes. Well... It's all about the young ladies and the families that say yes to Quinnipiac and the women's basketball program. They understand the legacy that the program has carried with it, the tradition, and it's a big reason why they say yes. So their standards and values align with what we want, first of all, in the locker room to create the culture that reflects out on the basketball court that leads to success. Well, Jackie, Coach talked about tradition, legacy, culture. When I think of those things, I think about practice. Can you take me inside of practice? How intense or how competitive are your practices? Our practices are some of the most competitive times. Uh, honestly, I compare them to being more competitive than games, honestly. Uh, it's great. We get after each other, and we just get better. We know that it takes a lot of practice to get to the point that we want to be at the, at the end of the season, and there's going to be ups and downs, but practice is where we can work it out and really just get better and keep building that chemistry like Coach was talking about. And, you know, Jackie, when you hear Coach talk about the legacy and some of the players that have come through Quinnipiac before your time and that you've played with over the past few seasons to know that now it's your time right that it's your opportunity to write your name on that list what does that mean to you uh, it's an honor to play with Quinnipiac or Bobcats across my chest um, we're really just bought into the team mindset this year which I think has been great uh, every day in practice we look up uh, we have the championship banners around the arena and it just serves as a great motivator to say like that's what we want to be and we want our team to be up there what do you take as you mature into a leader from someone like a Mackenzie DeWeese or a Michaela Morris or a Rose Caverly that, that came before? Uh, they set great examples and they gave me a lot of lessons uh, to continue to teach my younger teammates this year. Um, I think that it's really just all about being together and building that relationship with each other and just it's been nice this year to kind of have a, a bit of a blank slate and just get everyone on the same page and we're, we're excited, we're ready, and we can't wait for November 6th. Well, Coach, I've told you this time and time again. Anytime I see the Bobcats on the schedule, I circle it and make sure I have a front row seat. With that being said, is there a challenge or any pressure understanding and knowing that you all have a target on your back? You know, I think that's the expectation, you know, going into each year of the season, you know, and that the challenges that it's going to bring, but also, you know, the bullseye that you do carry with wearing Bobcats across your chest and Quinnipiac women's basketball. This year is no different. I think our look is really different. I think we're really becoming familiar with ourselves um, and where we're going to hang our hat and what's going to be our identity for this year and what's going to be tough to beat if you want to beat a Bobcat team. You know, Jackie called it uh, a blank slate. The slate's not blank in the front court, right? You had a lot of young players. I'm looking at Ella O'Donnell. I'm thinking about Grace LaBarge uh, that are matchup nightmares in the MAC that have another year of experience under their belt. What are they going to mean as they take the next step? Yeah, there's no doubt. We are really leaning on their productivity and, more importantly, their experience, right? So we have the real a great three-headed monster in Jackie Grisdale, in Ella, and also in Grace that, you know, they've got the minutes, they have the experience, and they've got to now bring everybody else in together. But in terms of matchups, Ella has just picked up where she left off. She was playing in the, for uh, the Irish national team, U20, had a great summer. She's come back even more ferocious than what we've seen in the past. I mean, just elevating from a freshman first year to a sophomore. You know that growth that happens. Then Grace LaBarge came onto the scene for us last year, and we're going to use their length athleticism to really bother teams in what we like to do with our curveball defense, not just man-to-man. -man. Quinnipiac Bobcats represented by head coach Trish Fabry and guard Jackie Grizzo with us in Atlantic City. Guys, thanks for the time. Good luck this year. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Diane Nolan's got a special guest.
as the tip-off show continues.